basically, Mariah Obey is a stage name that I created for myself back in like middle school because I already knew that I wanted to be a rapper. So I was like, bro, let me just get the stage name out the way right now because I don't have time for later down the line. I really start taking music seriously and I have to start rebranding. That's too much work. Mara comes from my middle name, which is Amarachi, and it's an Igbo name. I'm Nigerian, hence the, you know, African chain, gra gra. But yeah, so that's why I got Mara from the very middle. I just dropped the A, dropped the Chi. Amarachi. You get me? Ah, okay, okay, okay. And Obey, it basically came from my last name, which is Obi. And back in middle school, when I created the name, Kids would tease my last name and basically be like, Nikki Obai or Nikki Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was either one or, one or the other. So I wasn't jacking Obi-Wan Kenobi. I never watched Star Wars a day in my life and I don't like that name. Simple, I'm gonna just keep it a buck with you. I don't like that name. So Obey was the way to go. As for the song, when I heard the B, I was just like, damn, damn. beat was so hard i was like nah i have to dump to this beat like i have to go crazy i have to really talk that talk you feel me show people why i love to do what i do you feel me every single word was intentional i wrote everything i write all my raps all of them walk in and they say see some pressure they know best not to test her but let's check the record. Ben had balls and yes, you won't let up, like. But yeah, I'm basically using this section to introduce myself and tell y'all that people think that I'm a bad. Like, I, people think that I'm pretty, I'm bad, I'm cute, and I'm all that. So that's basically what pressure means. The last couple, the last two lines, basically is just referring to like, the fact that I've really been rapping since seventh grade. Like I started rapping in seventh grade. So that's why I'm saying check the record. Like I've really been rapping for a long time. Like I've really been rapping all my life. So yeah. Haters be chatting. I'ma keep bragging. These lines, mad self-explanatory. Haters always gonna have something to say, yet they wanna come in my face and be fake. Crazy. It's just crazy to me. But it's okay though. I'ma still do what I do. The big two and the two. Anything I spit is hot, I bust shots, just know when I drop. Shout out to Uda the Dragon, like. These are some boastful lines in the first person point of view. And this is just basically how I gas myself up. So it kind of connects to the intro, but it's just like a switch in POVs, basically. So these lines are basically just talking about my pen, my writing skills, obviously. So I call my pen Uda the dragon. Uda is short for shooter and the dragon because I spit fire. Like anything I spit is fire. Everything I spit is good. Everything I rap, like anything I say is just heat and people are gonna like it. Period. That's just the bottom line. Um, shots refer to my punchlines because one thing I really love about rap is I could get so disrespectful. Like I could say things in a song that I probably could not say to you right now to your face. But if I said it in a song, everybody's gonna bump it and da da da. Like it just sounds better in a song as opposed to if I just said it to your face. So yeah, punchlines are technically what the shots are. Shots could also refer to subs. Subs are just like subliminals that you throw on the internet typically, but I'm kind of throwing them in a song. So like that refers to like rap beef, rap disses, and just hip hop culture in general. So yeah, so that's why I say Uda the Dragon. Uda the Dragon, like I'm not really talking about a gun or I'm not talking about like, you feel me, killing people, none of that. I'm talking about my pen. My pen might kill you bitches, but that's about it. <laughs> Way okay. A A A. Obey, won't give it to him yet. I'ma just let him wait. Only smile for the money. Holding your stomach at eight. Shit funny. Hit the goofy nigga in his tummy. That was the punchline, dummy. 
I wasn't ready for to really give y'all the chorus, so that's why I said, wait, I'ma keep rapping. <laughs> I'ma show y'all why I talk how I talk and I do what I do. The big two and the two, okay? I know y'all gonna get tired of me saying that, but it's just true. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My pen go crazy, it is what it is. Shout out to Uda. Shots really a do ya. Straight to your medulla. The big two and a two, you know what I do. No cap in my rap, I gotta stay true. Every rapper I know, they kinda like have a number slash animal that they like claim or that they like jack, you feel me? So, I wanted the number two. I really wanted to jack 22 because that's my favorite number. Like it's two twos, like come on, like come on. <laughs> But I have a couple, I know a couple artists and I have a couple friends at Jack22. So I was just like, bro, no, like, I, you know, you, like I said with my rap name, I'm not trying to be like everybody else. I'm tr I'm creating my own name. So that's why I'm the big two and a two because two divided by two is one. I'm the one. I'm the one. Don't play with me, period. And plus I was born on January 22nd. So like it just worked out. Don't want to hear how you spit unless it's on them dirty ass shoes and move. Cause you stink too. And them DSLs looking crusty. When you disgust me, be sure to say broke niggas could never touch me. I just be talking crazy. I just be violent. That's what hip hop culture is. And that's what I love about rap. If y'all can't get behind it, I'm sorry. Y'all gotta go. <laughs> you feel me? Doing that hit shit, I wanna dance. Yo, I do what I want cause I don't give a damn. Yeah, you know who I am. Said so check out the brim. I got two fitted caps, New York Yankee. is basically Yankee, New York Yankee hats. And it got Obey on the side of it. Cause, come on, why not? Like I always wanted a hat that represented my city, but then also represented me. So, it was only, it was only right. It was only right. Only focus on the cheddar, I'm a go-getter, cause like I could never. Yeah, I'm so clever, look good in any sweater. Can't ride my wave, cause my drip is better, like. Ay, 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 okay. Obey, ay, ay, mora. Obey, mora. Obey, mora. Obey, okay, okay. Basically, I wanted to create a song that included my little chant, and that's just something people always come up and they chant to me when they see me. Like, they literally come up to me and be like, Mora, Obey, Mora, Obey, okay, okay. So I felt like it's only right to just make a song out of it, you feel me? So yeah. I know the love is real when they be chanting my name, yeah. Nasal fly, put it right on the, right on the chain, yeah. Come through, I start doing my thing, yeah, yeah. And y'all really lucky that I don't sing, yeah, yeah. The y'all don't sing one, I really just said that because R&B is my favorite genre of music, but I don't sing, so uh, that's why I rap. That's why I rap, I love rap, don't get me wrong, but like, if I could sing, there's no way I would be rapping. I rap circles round bitches, so it don't matter. One, a step in my ring, I'm flattered. When I spit, I'm known to cause a disaster. Been on my fly shit, on my little Miss Swagger. Nikki is very respectful. Mariah Obey, on the other hand, she don't play. So if you want to step in her ring, she flattered. <laughs> she flattered, bro. Like, she flattered. Like, I can't save you. Nikki can't save you if you want to step in the ring with Mariah Obey. Like, that's that, that's a you issue. That's a you issue. That's not me. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Moves like Jagger, psych, nah. Moves like Casanet, kick out as I stomp on your neck. I'm really a threat, little sis from the Jets. Basically, Jets is short for the projects. It's slang for people. So, like, you feel me? For people who don't know that I'm from the projects. In Brooklyn, New York. 
it made me who I am. It's the reason that I rap. So it's like, I just have to say it. Like moves like Casanet, basically that refers to me just getting sturdy, you feel me? One thing about me, I will get sturdy to anything. I don't care, I don't care. I'm gonna get sturdy, I'm gonna do my little, hey, 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 hey. Even though that part's getting jiggy, but same difference, it's whatever. But yeah, I love getting sturdy. Don't get me wrong, I'm just a dancer though, like, I'm just a dancer though, so any new since a youngin', I've been thuggin', been buggin', cause I came up from nothing, always knew I had something. People stay judging, my blessings on the way, they coming. I'ma really be shining, been doing that though, been on time, and since eighth grade, they knew what to say before I start rhyming. My first time ever rapping in front of people was in eighth grade. That's when I like performed on the stage for like a pep rally. I was just a wild child. I just always been wild and I just really needed to find a way to channel all that like, you know, energy. So that's why I started rapping. Like I started, I could, I could, I could be whoever I want when I'm making a song because everything sounds better on a beat. <laughs> everything sounds better on a beat and people actually listen to me.